The event data recorder in cars is uh, a computer that will record certain performance aspects of the vehicle uh, during and sometimes before a crash. Black boxes have been in cars for several years. Now, the grassroots motorcycle lobbyist group ABATE is trying to put the brakes on what it calls a free for all on your driving habits. That the brakes are applied. It's pushing for a bill that would require a vehicle owner to give consent to anyone who wants the information, imposing fines of up to $2,000 on those who grab it without permission. Your information is your privacy, and right now your privacy could be violated by anybody that has the technology to be able to collect the information that's in the black box. ABATE is trying to stay ahead of the curve before these devices wind up in motorcycles. Right now, none of the top manufacturers say that's happening, but they think they share this concern with car owners. Right now, EDRs record a few seconds before the event and after, but how long is that really going to last? And it's not only the EDR, it's any data collection device. And that's what's important about this bill is that it doesn't focus on just the EDR. It's any other data collection device either currently in your vehicle or what's coming down the road. We're very concerned about the privacy. I mean, you Bill Sepik is president of the Wisconsin Auto and Truck Dealers Association, which argued against the bill that never got out of committee last year. Event data recorder, if we're sharing that information with a manufacturer because your braking has had difficulties or maybe your seatbelt is faulty, or isn't it in the public's best interest to know that there's something wrong and to maybe have a recall on that vehicle? And personal injury attorneys are sounding the alarm about insurance companies getting the upper hand while leaving plaintiffs' attorneys who want to sue over injuries bogged down in court to get their hands on the data. I think the problem here is that the bill as written would allow insurance companies to get it for other purposes, not to make vehicles safer, but to stop paying claims, to charge people more money for insurance. But it also may prevent insurance companies from be able, being able to do that if you don't want that type of insurance. Right now they have usage-based insurance. If you're fine with a flat rate policy based on age and how you drive, you should have the right to decide how you want your insurance coverage. The earliest the bill could be reintroduced is January of 2017. In the meantime, drivers may want to take a look at the owner's manual to figure out just what's recording and when. Any data that's being collected is your data. You can buy a vehicle that was made before 1992. I mean, th there are options.